Welcome to Design Principles, Colors, Color and Aesthetics. Uh, again, seems like we might be veering a little bit off topic because we're not directly discussing software in these uh, presentations. But um, dealing with aesthetics and colors in any case when you have an artistic or commercial pursuit, um, dealing with how things look, and visual appeal uh, are very, very important co uh, concepts. Uh, so first thing, I gave the color theory in a nutshell, very cursory. Um, it's, you know, you can have a whole class on color theory. Uh, graphic design was once uh, fundamentally black and white. Uh, colors become integral to the design process and it's no longer really a luxury. Most people have, you know, color printers of some quality in their office or sometimes at home, even if that can get a little expensive. Um, you know, colors are seen in the eye of the beholder. Our perception of color depends um, on brightness, the character of ambient light. If you go into a retouching room, a professional, um, scan and retouching room ordinarily there will be um, you know very dim lights people have anti-reflective uh, uh, around their screens to sort of keep a shade from the glare you know color calibration of their monitors is a very big deal because um, you don't want that uh, skewing even if you're co color correcting by the numbers you don't want that skewing your colors um, I went over additive and subtractive. Um, light is absorbed by surfaces and it reflects back the colors that remain. And you, that's uh, desktop and offset printings use subtractive system for CMYK. Uh, RGB screens displays are additive and the, the sources uh, come from the, the ambient light. Another level of color is hue, intensity, value. These are things you can adjust in your programs, primarily in Photoshop, but all of them handle tint and the color itself. Um, you have the color wheel. This shows, you know, a violet shadow from a yellow warm uh, golden light you go to the other side of the color wheel to get a companion color red yellow and blue are the pure colors primary and they can't be mixed with other colors orange violet and green are the two primaries mixed together yellow and red make orange for example those are the secondary colors and you have tertiary red orange yellow green are created by mixing one primary and one secondary uh, tertiary just means third you have complementary colors um, some are good for legibility and you'll notice there's things like you know Christmas colors they are complementary the red and the green um, these sort of color patterns come out and each color has like a sort of graphic design like blue is for a bank you have a TD bank now with green but blue is more of a stable strong color and I'm sure I've posted to the Pinterest site um, you know color meaning and values uh, analogous colors are those that sit next to each other on the color wheels they have minimal chromatic differences that have much lower contrast Layers and transparency are uh, design aesthetics that can help build the comp uh, complexity of a composition, whether gray or uh, colors. And you should play with some of these elements in your final projects just to get um, a sense of your software, but also to play on these. Uh, texture is really great with filters in Photoshop and also in Illustrator filling patterns with uh, texture and giving things a sort of tactile feel of surfaces, green substances. 
um, and engaging everybody's all all of the senses as much as you possibly can uh, visually. Pattern is the intersection of point, line, plane, and grids. Um, it can develop a rich contrast of elements or content. It's a visual representation of complexity and rhythm. It has no real connection to a, a tactile counterpart. Most of these things that we've discussed um, should be used in a controlled manner and don't try and do too many techniques. Just like I say about filters in Photoshop, don't, don't go bonkers. Um, here you have uh, contrast is key. Um, it, it helps with organization, helps with hierarchy. Uh, value, this value can come up with size, color, spacing, proximity, grouping, pattern, texture. Um, with typography or an icon, it can be provided through style or construction. One of the most important principles that designers need to be aware of, both in form and function. And that was my last slide. Hope these have helped. <laughs>